All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to Tornado Talk. Um, it's me, your co-host again, Wes Spikerman from Wayne, Pennsylvania. And I'm Jacob Belisle from Austin, Texas. And, and this, this is Tornado, Tornado Talk. Talk. Um, so first of all, we'd like to introduce to you uh, our, what do you want to call yourself, Drake? Our interviewee, is that a word? Yes, I am the guest of this show. The guest. The guest, that's yeah, that's word. probably a much yeah, better word. Yeah, sorry. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's see, what would we all do for summer before we jump right in? Let's hear a little summer activities, what we do. Uh, let's see. This summer, I went back home from Atlanta, Georgia on my border here. Okay. And uh, went to my dad's house. He bought a bunch of land like last year and has been having animals on there. Oh. So, oh. so I went around there chasing around goats and cows and chickens, all okay. that good stuff. There you go. Wow. Super fun. And, That's uh, kind of sick. Yeah, we went kayaking into Disney and all that fun stuff. Okay. Disney? Yes. Nice. All right. nice. Disney World or land? Uh, Disney World in Florida, yeah. All right. Oh, Disney World's go. better. Let's just put that out there. Than Disney I've only been to Disneyland, so I don't well, know. Yeah. That explains a lot. So much oh, come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Wes, what about you, would you? Um, I pretty much spent the summer either at home or at the beach. Uh, we went to the beach for a month. It's kind of like a beach I've been going to for a while. So I actually okay. had some Macaulay friends come visit me there. Yeah, which beach? Um, which super beach? fun. Atlantic Beach, North Carolina. Okay, yeah. Um, it's fun. a little like southern Outer Banks, I think. Um, All right. I don't know if it counts <laughs> as part of the Outer Banks, but it's very fun. Very exciting. What about you? Uh, I was actually summer camp counselor. Oh, big guy for six, seven, and eight year olds all summer. So. Oh, that's six, seven, and eight. Yeah. So what? Like, what does that look like? What does a day as Jacob Bilal, the summer counselor? Well, look it like? takes about twenty minutes to wake these kids up in the morning, mm-hmm. and then once you get them up, they lose everything, so they can't find any of their clothes for the day. So that's another twenty minutes you're spending in the morning. So the mornings are about like an hour. To I mean, get but it only gets worse out. as you get older. Sounds like a lot of fun. Because like I know it takes like forty minutes to wake you up, but at least you know where your <laughs> stuff is. Uh, yeah, that's true. Okay, at least I know where my stuff. They don't go. know where anything <laughs> is. It's 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 a hassle, but they're a ton of fun. So there you it go. has its trade offs. But All I right. enjoy. It. We kind of skipped the actual introduction for Drake, so let's just yeah. really quickly go back. Drake, give us your name, your age, uh, what grade you are in, All right. where you're from, and a fun fact about you. All right, my name is Drake Williams. I'm 15 from Atlanta, Georgia, in the 10th grade. And a fun fact about me is that uh, I'm starting a job doing commissions and graphic design. So shameless plug, I'm going to have them uh, go ahead and advertise for me all my work. (laughs) (laughs) You know, we we can do that. (laughs) That was... That was a blind side, but I, I, I appreciated it. it. Was not expecting <laughs> I was not it, expecting that. There you go. Y'all, but Drake Williams, if you need any uh, graphic design work, he's the man. He's the man. He is the man. All right, so now we're going to play a little game. A little throwback, actually. Yeah, a little throwback to season one. A little quick fire game for you. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right, so first question. Favorite movie? Um, uh, The live action Aladdin. I like that movie a lot. Wow. Right. Okay. Hardest sport. That I've done? No, just in, in, general. in general. That I believe is the hardest? Yeah. Uh, swimming. I get really tired swimming. Dude, I can never do it. It's that. definitely okay. cricket. Imagine hitting a ball It's from definitely a horse. baseball, but... Baseball? No, <laughs> cricket is baseball on a horse. No, that's... Cricket, you're not on a horse. <laughs> oh, that's not cricket. No, what sport is that? Polo, you're on a horse. Polo, polo, that's what I'm thinking. Polo. Oh, wow. No, I'm whatever. sorry, I'm uneducated. First day right? back, guys. Cut us some grace. Um, <laughs> favorite fourth meal? Um... French toast stick, so that way I could get a sugar high before mm. I go to bed. Okay. Like strictest factor. This one's a dangerous one to answer because, like, if you think they're strict and then you're telling them they're strictest, mm. there's not really mm. a good situation. Tread uh, lightly. Yeah. Zion Wade. Whoa! <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Is he still technically a faculty member? I'm not, that doesn't count for me. You gotta give me another one. <laughs> he has to be in. Safe he has to be here. No safe yeah, answers. Yeah, he has to be here. <laughs> uh. I, I'm sorry, but Mr. Coleman. Mr. Mr. Coleman. Coleman. Okay. Mr. Coleman. <laughs> fastest. Hey, come get him. Fastest faculty member. Who would win? Uh, I think. I forgot his name. There's a guy around here. No, who I feel like. Mr. Givens, cross country coach. Fastest? Okay. I was going to say enough. Bradford, but I would say Stoker. Oh, wow. Stoker's a right. speedster. Okay. okay. Mr. Givens, first name I can think of. Fair enough. All right. Who's the funniest student? Here? Yeah. Me. Not Wes. <laughs> okay. Wow. Wow. Confident. How do you feel about that? I, you know, I need to go. I need to take a second here. All right, right moving on. Favorite yeah, Macaulay yeah. tradition while Wes rebuilds. Um, crushing the Baylor car. 
Crushing the bed of the car? Yes. Okay. You're going to have to finish quick fire for me. <laughs> yeah. Well, that is that is that is the end of quick fire. All right, all right. All right, what do I win? Um, A high five from Wes. No, he doesn't want one. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. You don't get one, Drake. Uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm tomorrow. sorry. All right, so um, as y'all know, after quick fire, we move into a little more deeper discussion. Mm-hmm. Um, so, Drake, now we're going to ask you some more like personal questions, if that's okay. Yeah. 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 All right. First question, who are you? What sure. defines your life? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> kind of. It's a little deep um, there. <laughs> uh, yeah. Nah. <laughs> How did you get to Macaulay? Uh, by a car. I told y'all not to interview <laughs> Drake Williams. Like, this is not who we want on the no, show. Like, what's the story? What's no, the yeah, story? How'd you figure out about really? Macaulay? Let's see. I came through a program called the ABC program. It is a program that helps children of color get to private schools and boarding schools and stuff like that. Okay. Helps okay. us funnel through the system. And Macaulay was one of the schools available. And so I went through all the schools and I checked Macaulay. I'm in Atlanta. Macaulay's really close. And they have almost everything I was looking forward to in a school with all the sports and different activities here. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I believe Macaulay was the perfect fit for me. Yeah, really quickly, wow. what was the other school that was like between Macaulay and what school? Uh, Chicago School for the Arts. Okay, I don't yep. know much about Chicago School for the Arts, no. but as long as it's not Baylor, so. yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's what I wanted nah. to make sure. That's really cool, man. Um, so, let's see how how did it feel back like to go back home after the school year? Like, how'd you feel about that? Uh, let's see. One thing I was looking forward to going back home was seeing all my family again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But coming from boarding school life to home was a lot different. Yep. You know, yep. at home, I, honestly, I feel like it's. It's more lenient here at school sometimes than it is at home. You know, <laughs> yeah. as a boarder, we're mm-hmm. responsible for a lot of our own actions and have a lot of self responsibility. Yeah. And at home, it's kind of back to a more structured, like more structured environment yeah. with the um, whole f- family telling me yeah. what to do, waking me up yep. at eight yep. o'clock to come clean out the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you definitely go. a lot more. I have a quick question. Um, who is your English teacher this year? Uh, Mr. Curran. All right, Mr. Curran, please do not listen to this next part because you might not like the answer. <laughs> Drake, when did you plan on doing your summer reading? Have you done your summer reading yet? Right. And if not, when do you plan on doing your summer reading? I pl- I planned on doing my summer reading just slowly throughout the entire summer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That Basically. did not happen whatsoever. Yeah, it never mm-hmm. happens. Mm-hmm. It, never it was happens. like the last two weeks of summer, and okay. I just went through all of them. So I did do them. Okay, okay. But I'm st- I still go over them because I just I kind of skimmed through the entire two <laughs> books, <laughs> so I didn't actually read them. Oh, oh, oh. But I got the information, so I'm okay. gonna pass the test. Yeah, oh, right. bigger, bigger uh, question: Did did Wes did, did Wes, Wes do his right. summer reading? <laughs> Here's the deal: I did do my summer reading. My biggest mistake, I read each book in one day and now I don't even remember the title of the book. <laughs> like my I like my roommate apparently read the same two books as me. Um, I didn't know until he told me what they were about. And then I was like, I did read that. I just don't remember you read them anything in a day? about it. Yeah, in a I day. Did. I did. Wow. So I read the first one a day and I read the next one like two days later. That's impressive. Wes, you could be honest on the show. Yeah. No, I did, I did, I did, I did. I believe but, that's but still impressive. The problem though is I just don't remember. No, you don't remember at, at all, at all. They were very good books. That's what I remember. <laughs> you but liked them? If you, no, I did. I liked them a lot. But if you ask me any questions about them, I could have answered. It was a good mm. book, but don't ask me what any yeah, of the characters' exactly, names are. Exactly. I'm gonna fail the test. You have not read the book. Hey, no bump for you. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. All right. So today, big day, first day of school. Mm-hmm. How do we feel? How how was it? Did you slide back in easily? Was it a little tough? Was waking up this morning a lot harder than anticipated? Because mm, for mm-hmm. me, <laughs> way harder than I anticipated. I did not get yep, up. Yep. So let's All hear right. it. Uh, let's see. First day back. Woke up. I woke up before my alarm. That kind of agitated me a little bit. Oh, <laughs> oh my like, dang. <laughs> So how early was that? Uh, I woke up at 6.40, alarm at 7. Wow. Yep. I, that night, I went straight to bed. That lights out. I was like, I'm going to be ready. I'm going to have a great mm. first day of school. That's that, happens for, that happens for like a day. Yeah. <laughs> for like a day. Yep. I know. Yep. I had everything organized. I'm like, I'm going to keep it like this the whole year. <laughs> now, don't talk to me next quarter when my room's looking crazy and all my <laughs> papers are stashed in my backpack. Yep. But yeah, I had all my supplies. Everything was ready. Went to the classes. Had a brief summary over what the mm-hmm. course is going to be about. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I slid in pretty easy. Okay. You know? And yeah. then I came here. Yeah. There best, you go. Best part of the day, right? Yeah. yeah best exactly. part of the day. Best, best part of the day. day. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> there you go. Um, so, so you thought it was pretty easy coming yeah, back coming into back. the school year? Yeah, for me it was kind of interesting. Um, 
I didn't really realize that I had classes. Like, I didn't think through the process <laughs> that I have school again. Yeah. Like, I, I got back mm. last night, and mm-hmm. I was like, I'm back to Macaulay. Like, yeah, this no, is no, super no. exciting. And then I realized, I have to go to class tomorrow morning. Yeah. No, that <laughs> happened for me for RA training, because I was here, like, a week early. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so I was just like, man, I'm just chilling at Macaulay. Yeah, And then exactly. I woke up today, and I was like, wow. Yep. I yep. got to go to AP Bio. A- and AP I was Bio, like, nope. exactly. <laughs> and you know what? We did an AP Bio today. We started learning. Yeah, we I was start, taking we, notes of that. Class. I was taking a lot of notes. <laughs> I was today. busy. So I was what busy. What was going on with that? Um, exactly. Um, so you are a sophomore, correct? Yes, I am. What are you most excited for this sophomore year? That I get a whole extra fifteen minutes to stay out of the door. Mm. Okay. <laughs> what 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 are you gonna use with those extra fifteen minutes? You there know, you the fact that this is how they get you. They give you these extra minutes, mm-hmm. but they also give you harder courses. So you're gonna have no time to use these minutes because mm. you're gonna be using them to do the that same is, amount of work. So <laughs> you're telling me that you are you're gonna spend those fifteen minutes studying? Prob not not just because I want to, because I probably have to. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's the answer we like to hear. That's the answer Dr. Richie wants to hear from you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. So this is all for Dr. Richie. I'll tell you what's really going on afterwards. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> so, oh, so you, I guess you already answered. You think it's going to be harder than freshman year? Yes, mm. most definitely. Okay. okay. You know, th- I'm taking mostly on it. Last year, I took no honors classes. This year, almost my entire schedule is Ooh. honors classes. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Well, hey, good for you. They figured out a... But also, w- good luck. Yeah. Yeah, they- good luck. <laughs> really good luck. <laughs> really good luck. <laughs> so, moving on. Uh, is there anything that you wish you would have done differently last year that you want to do this year? Or that you will do this year? Uh, a few things. Time management. Okay. And mm-hmm. getting to be able to do all the things I need to do and also have fun. Mm-hmm. But another yep. thing is mix set. I didn't know that mix set was a thing last year until okay. like halfway in the school year. Really? So everyone's out going places. I'm like, where is everybody today, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, mix. Oh, yeah. So how about you explain like what, what mix set is for all of our listeners out there? All right. Mix set is a thing Macaulay has on weekends. Okay. We have certain events. There's always something to do. There's trips to hiking, trips to the movies. You oh. could go to f- games, football games, baseball games, always mm-hmm. stuff to do off campus. So that mm-hmm. way the students here won't be bored and it allows for us to have a more family environment and come together. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. What Mix set event are you most looking forward to this year? Uh, Let's see. I know that I'm ready. I'm really ready for Walmart because I, I did not come fully prepared for school. <laughs> <laughs> did, those anybody, snacks? did anybody come fully prepared to school? <laughs> no, no. No. I did, no, I did no, not no. either. I did not either. No. No. All right. What What is the best dorm snack that you can get from Walmart? That I get from Walmart that I have to get? Uh, that it, you like? You feel like you have to have in your room? Oh, it's not a snack, but I drink about a case of Arizona green tea. I have to get two because I'll, I'll drink green the whole tea. case of say, Arizona green tea. Green tea. Yes. Arizona green tea. Yes, green I would drink the whole case of Arizona green tea in about three days. And have you ever thought about making your own green tea instead of doing Arizona or is it just no, like you stick no, to Arizona? Just, just got to stick. I'm loyal. I don't even drink peace tea. Wow. No. That might okay. be one of the hottest takes I've heard in a bit. I know. Well, no, no, no. Arizona Speaking green of tea. Hot. Do you drink hot green tea ever, or is it? It's yeah. just straight up cold just, green tea. Just now, the, if, the, if there's a can and I gotta gotta have my can and it's been out in the sun, I'll drink some hot. Tea. I know someone else who drinks cold green tea. <laughs> who? My grandmother. <laughs> Drake and my grandmother, y'all need to get together, drink some green tea together, have a wonderful conversation. She's from California, I'm sure you love it. Um, the real reason she drinks green tea is because she doesn't drink sweet tea, which we all know is the best tea. It is the best tea. It is the best tea. No, um, and Arnold Palmer is probably the best. Ex- no. I totally agree. Really? This is why we're You're co-hosts wrong. together because yeah, we no, both we're drink we're Arnold Palmer on the same page, and we love it. Yeah, exactly. Go to Champies. Arnold Palmer, there right you there. Go. Yeah, no, go anywhere. Anywhere. Arnold Palmer. No, anywhere. I just keep an Arizona green tea in my back pocket when I go to a restaurant. I pull it out, smack it on do the Do you table actually do that, or are you just telling a, us that? No, that's exactly what happens. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. That's confidence. That's that's loyalty right that there. That is loyalty. <laughs> Arizona, you need to come sponsor this man right here. Wow. Okay, okay. We need to go back to a little bit more of a serious tone. Yes. Um, so I'm going to go back to asking about your first day of school because mm-hmm. that is what today is. Yes. Um, who do you think is going to be your hardest teacher? And who do you think is going to be your easiest teacher? And you got to be careful what you say here because mm-hmm. then your easy teacher might try and go hard on you. Oh, yeah. But your hard teacher might go easy yeah. on you. No. I walked or your into hard teacher will go harder yeah. on you. 
that's it. We don't be talking that. Oh, okay. Oh, My bad. <laughs> We're taking, I'm taking honors algebra two and trigonometry this year. And I walked into Mr. Bailey's class. Mm, and Mr. Like, Adams. Yeah. Mm. And the first like whole half of the class was him telling us, this class is going to be difficult and you need to be prepared. <laughs> and I'm like, ah. Oh. I hope this is just something that might be difficult for someone, maybe a little less under me. I, I hope I do fine. <laughs> no, I can scared. tell you, I took it last year. If you put in the work, it's okay. But if you get behind, it's really hard to catch back up. <laughs> so right. just don't get behind. All right, I got to stay ahead of it. There you go. And okay. then I uh, think one of my easier classes is going to be at graphic design intermediate. Okay, well, since you, you know, yeah, since, since he is it, a professional okay, yeah. graphic designer, I would expect that to exactly. be pretty easy. Guys, if you did not hear before, if you need any graphic design yeah, work, commission Drake, work. I mean, he's right here. Drake Williams. He's I right did here. the he's caricatures the for these people over here. He did no, not do he this. He did not do <laughs> this. He did not do this. <laughs> Shout out, though, to Mr. Weirdmer for doing those. Those are amazing. Yes. We love them so much. Thank you so much. I'm actually going to get a custom poster of them to put in my room because I like them so much. Yeah. yeah, I have a big ego. Sorry. No, he does. He does. It's okay, though. <laughs> you yeah. get Jacob yeah. one, too. <laughs> okay. Oh, <boy. laughs> Moving on. Serious note again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> now it's time for another game. Oh, man. Another game of Guess, Guess That Teacher. Teacher. All right, so we're going to shoot... A couple facts at you. All right. Uh, looks like I can't count, but a couple facts at you. You're going to have a 10th grade who doesn't know anything. Six facts. Six facts. I counted. Okay, thank yeah. you. Uh, we're going to shoot six facts at you, mm -hmm. and then we're going to give you like three guesses to try to get the faculty member All right. or teacher. And that no it pressure. Is. I know who it is, and you, you got to get this one yeah, right. Yeah, you got to get this one. You got to get this one right. No pressure, though. Yeah. All right. This person holds two Macaulay varsity letters. That doesn't <laughs> seem that right. That does not seem right. But, yeah, we'll keep on going. <laughs> we'll keep on going. Um, this person became a Tennessee state champion at the age of 13. All right. Rode in a doorless helicopter when four years old. These are kind of cool. <laughs> These are kind of sick. All uh -huh. right. Holds a concealed handgun carry permit. You better watch out this person's class. Uh, nice. That's a little... This person parachuted out of an airplane by themselves, mm -hmm. so no tandem jump. I'm learning a lot about this person. Yeah, right yeah. <laughs> this person researched and wrote the majority of their master's thesis at the friendly confines. All right. Those are, those are all your the, facts. Those are all, all right, your facts. All right. You can think about it for a second. Code. Three, two, <laughs> Coach one. No. 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 Should we let him try again? Yeah, well, yeah. One, more, one, more, one, more, two one more. Two more. Two more. Two more. Two more. Right. Three's a magic number. All right. Two. Mike one, Newman. No. No. Uh, five. Four. Three. Coach Henderson. <laughs> no. No. Uh, and I'm out. The correct person. <laughs> and wow. I mean, I'm very impressed. Mrs. Hughes. What? Kathleen yes. Hughes. Kathleen Hughes. If you could at oh. some point explain to me how you hold... Two Macaulay Varsity letters. I would love to hear she, that she story. She was a cheerleader. Cheerleader. You can get Macaulay Varsity letters as a cheerleader. Aren't you a cheerleader? I am not a cheerleader. You were a cheerleader. I was not a cheerleader. He looks like a cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a compliment. So take, take it as a compliment. 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 Okay. All right. Don't worry. Well, I love all the cheerleaders out there. Y'all are all okay. great. But no, no, he yeah. should be one of y'all. You already dropped the ball. <laughs> well, Drake, oh. it was a pleasure having you on the podcast right. today it always will be a pleasure having you on the podcast always right. first person of season two mm -hmm, couldn't mm -hmm. have kickstarted it a better way yeah so thank you so much mm -hmm. and that's we're wrapping it up right now so just shameless plug for ourselves please go check out the tornado talk podcast uh the instagram we do a lot of extra little content for y'all. Um, you get to learn a little more about Wes and I, possibly. Some yep, more embarrassing yep. stories. Yeah, quick shout out to the guy who runs that, Bobby over here. Yes. Um, y'all can't see Bobby, but I'm going to point like you can. So yeah, this is Bobby. That's Bobby. Um, just so you know, Bobby's super cool. <laughs> get to awesome. know him if you can. Yep. Um, and oh, wait, wait. This is my favorite part. Okay, keep going. You guys can see Tornado Talk. Listen to it on uh, Spotify or Apple Music or wherever you get your podcasts. 
<laughs> so I just sort of wanted to say that. <laughs> All but right. yeah, no, I'm serious. You can't. Yes, you can't. but seriously, we do have an exciting lineup coming up for this whole year. Uh, a lot of cool mm-hmm. people we're going to have on here, a lot of new things going on. So please stick around, check it out, subscribe to us on Spotify and Apple Music, like Wes said, in his weird voice. Yeah, wherever you uh, or get your wherever, podcast. Yeah, wherever you get your podcast. <laughs> yep, yep. So <laughs> thank you all for listening, and we'll see you next time. All right. All right. Drake Williams signing out. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> my name's Wes. And that's the end of my show. Next time we'll have two more guests uh, to replace these <laughs> ones. And uh, I'll see you guys next time on Tornado Talk. <laughs> this is why he thought he was the funniest guy on campus, guys. I'm yeah, slighted, yeah. okay? Mr. Roberts is still show. recording. Mr. Roberts is <laughs> still <laughs> recording. Just keep talking, guys. Just keep talking. <laughs>